Yo. What is up, my fucking Art Block family? Guys, no one really realizes how big Art Block is going to be yet, you know? It hit almost five bucks and it cooled down. Now we're back around two dollars. We're kind of stuck around that two dollar zone. This is something that I think is going to take Art Block to the next level, and I want to talk about that real quick. Talk about that real quick, boy. All right, Art Block will be attending the Japan AI Innovation Meetup in Seattle, Washington, from today through the 27th. Art Block ABT is proud to be one of the 10 selected USA companies to participate and showcase their product. Art Block will be demoing uh, Agent Art Block's AI Apps Engine to a distinguished delegation that includes Toyota, NEC, Hitachi, Nippon Rad, Panasonic, and SNBL, and Japan's largest venture fund, SBI. Hey. Hey. Money printers on. Printing fucking gains. But no, seriously, guys. Uh, hello. Yeah. I want to talk about this for a second because. Guys, these are big ass companies. If Art Block even got one percent of this market share from all these companies, that's fucking absurd what it would do to the price of Art Block. Understand that. What I want to do is look at some of these market caps of these companies. Toyota, two hundred eighty-eight billion. What's the other one? Okay, let's just do Hitachi. I don't know what NEC is. Um, well, let's see what it is. NEC. Oh my God. 3.79 trillion? What? My boy. My boy. You, you feel me? That's fucking ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay. Hitachi. Let's see what their market cap is. Guys, this is how I do this shit sometimes. When I look at this, I'm like, I imagine myself, okay, imagine all this and even getting a half a percent of the market share of all these that combine to like kind of, or maybe even a quarter of a percent, you know? God damn, that would still be astronomical for Art Block's price. Even a quarter of a percent, you know? Up 3.79 trillion. Hitachi, 1.122.6 uh, billion. Guys, these are big fucking companies. What do you think that's going to do to the price, you know? It's going to fucking do numbers, bro. It's going to do numbers. Honestly, I think Art Block, 50 to $100 is like the minimal, you know? That's like almost a guarantee. I, you know, it could get close to the fucking four-figure mark, in my personal opinion. It depends on how much it does get adopted. It depends on that, you know. But things like this, guys, if they have partnerships with these big companies, and they got this uh, de de uh, decentralized identity shit, they got all that patented, you know. This is so fucking bullish. Look at these fucking, oh my god, 3.79 trillion market cap, and they're getting partnerships with these motherfuckers. Showcasing their technology. They're probably going to be like, oh, yes, G give me the, give me, give me agent, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, man, what a good time to be in crypto, boys. People don't even realize the fucking money avalanche coming to our block. This is about to be fucking astronomical. Guys, and if you're holding an art block, smash the fucking like, because we are, <laughs> we are like about to see our lives get changed from art block. And I also want to talk about Alchemy Pay and LCX briefly. Okay, so LCX, um, here's on their Twitter. LCX made a big splash at Solana Breakpoint 2024. At Solana Breakpoint 2024, we connected top-tier projects and builders to strengthen our role in token listings, liquidity, and compliance. Okay, so that was 12 hours ago, 13 hours ago. They're already talking about listing another token on their exchange. And guys, they've been listing and listing and listing. Their uh, trading volume on their exchange has been going up quite a bit, especially since they listen Ondo and some of these meme coins and shit, you know? Um, guys, LCX too, man. I, I want to talk about LCX for a second because I, like, I was comparing them on my, a lot of my videos with the market cap of Wells Fargo as being like kind of a long-term market cap price, and that would put it, well, shit, BNB is more realistic, you know? And even that would put it at 110. So to think... $10, LCX hitting $10 is like a no-brainer, you know? But these are some things that could possibly happen. And let's go, let me do the uh, Wells Fargo, you know? Because 
It's a bank. It's not huge. It's not small. You know, stocks. What's going on here? Oh. Stocks. Okay, Wells Fargo. What's going on here? Why is it only missing? Here we go. Wow. Okay, so LCX with a market cap of Wells Fargo would be $235. Dude, I would be filthy rich at that point, you know? That's just a ballpark of range what it could go around a market cap of a bank. If they get their banking license, you're going to be looking at numbers like this, guys. Banks have liquidity. They have lots of billions and billions and billions of dollars. And they're not trying to be banking. They're trying to bank institutions, not me and you. So this is big money. It's not, not little money, okay? Understand that about LCX. And also, real quick, Alchemy Pay. Alchemy Pay, Terminus, and Aeon Community partnered to bring crypto payments to over 100,000 merchants in Southeast Asia. Now you just can spend crypto at real-world merchants across Southeast Asia with a simple QR scan. Guys, almost every day, Alchemy Pay is coming up with some new partnerships. This is... I, I talk about this a lot. I stress this. They're going to be such a fucking powerhouse. Just look at these fucking partners, dude. And this is old. They haven't even updated this shit. It's probably doubled since then, you know? This is... Uh, you know... Like I said, with Alchemy Pay, I, you know, a couple dollars for sure. I think it's going to make a dollar. It's bitch. It's going to hit a dollar and it's just going to straight D slap that dollar and probably go to two or three, five bucks, you know? You know what I mean, boy? What? These altcoins are going to change our lives, boys. Good time to be alive, you know? I just wanted to give you a quick update to what I've been seeing and thinking and my thoughts on these altcoins. Um, these are three of my favorites, honestly, um, that I'm really bullish on, all three of these. I think they're going to do extremely fucking well, you know? You know what I mean? But guys, I'm getting off here. If you get any value from me, like and subscribe to my channel. And hold down the fort, boys.